day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad it is, and be glad. Good morning. Uh, my name is Pastor Chandler, and I'm the pastor of Jackson Street United Methodist Church. Uh, welcome. I'm glad that you're joining us this morning. Uh, I thought I would take a moment um, to, to say hello uh, and ask that um, while you're joining us via Facebook or, or, or YouTube, uh, if you would just uh, send us a notification, a thumbs up, uh, maybe a comment, uh, and if you would hit like and, and share it with a friend, uh, you know, we would greatly appreciate it. The, the time that we're going to spend together uh, this morning uh, is, is kind of a follow-up or, or even uh, the closing of a series uh, where we were talking about fellowship, uh, fellowship with God and how important that is and, and how uh, in that fellowship with God uh, we come to an agreement uh, because we focus on the teaching of, of Christ Jesus by the apostles or by those that, that God uh, has appointed uh, and anointed. Um, to, to, to clarify, maybe even reveal to us uh, th little things that we might miss in his message to us, his message to encourage us and to empower us uh, because we agree that, that, that fellowship, uh, plus fellow fellowship plus agreement equals uh, power. Uh, the power uh, to stand on God's promises, uh, the power to resist the evil, and the temptations of the devil, the power to, to love uh, the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and your soul, the power, uh, the power to love your neighbor as yourself. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it this morning, and I'm glad that you're here with us. Please share it with someone. Um, carry this with you, and we hope and believe that it will empower and change your lives. God bless you. We love you, we care about you, and we're praying for you. I'm so glad uh, that I'm able to come into your home, I'm able to come into your car, uh, I'm able to come into your earbuds, uh, on your phone, just to spend a moment with you, to tell you just how good God is, to, to share with you an inspiring word that will change your life, that will empower you, that will give you the strength that you need to endure the day-to-day -day things we face and we must endure. You know, God loved us so much, he gave us his son, Jesus. And he died for us. And he paid a price that we could not pay for ourselves. And I just want to share that good news with you today. Let us take a moment now and bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come into your presence. Oh God, we shed everything. We take off and we peel back everything or anything that would hinder us from worshiping you. Oh God, we empty ourselves out before you. And so now we, we stand or we kneel or we sit before you, God, as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. We're hungry, Lord. We are thirsty. And we are thirsty for what you have to give us to drink because we know, God, if we drink the living water that comes from you, we will thirst no more. We will thirst no longer. God, be with us now. As the word is preached, as songs are being sung, oh God, as people are worshiping in their houses, in their cars, oh God, walking through the park or walking on the trail, oh God, uh, by way of their phones, oh God, with earbuds, and it, God, just, just speak to their hearts right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 and 20. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Amen and amen. We are thankful um, for this opportunity always and everywhere to, to be able to, to come together in, in, the, in, in this time that we're living in 
um, to be able to share uh, and, and to fellowship, mm, my Lord, with our God. Now, it's important that, that we understand and, and get back to the basics of, of, of what God meant uh, when he inspired man to write scripture. Uh, um, um, we, we, we often uh, um, get, become stagnated or, or we often stumble uh, because uh, we, we get fixed on man or, or we get fixed on the language in which he's, he's communicating with. Uh, but, but I'm hoping that, that we would just get back to the place to where we hear what God is saying, uh, that, 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 that we diligently seek him uh, uh, in the words that, that, that are inspired by him, that's written for us. Uh, uh, and, and in that, I'm, I mean the word fellowship. Um, last week, uh, the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about fellowship and, and, and agreement. Uh, and, and we said that, that you know, those two things uh, added together uh, equals power. And so, so, so it, it, it was just uh, um, revealed to me that, that, that when God said, uh, forsake ye not the fellowship of the saints, uh, it was not about us. It was about him. Uh, it was about our fellowship together with him. Mm, mm, mm. So, so the fellowship uh, was not about us, but it was for us. And, and so when, when, when we understand that, then, then it changes our whole posture. Uh, it changes our, our whole approach. It, 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 it changes our understanding of, of, of just how much God loves us and, and just how powerful he is and, and just how much he wants to do in and through our lives. And, and so when we approach him, Mm, my Lord, uh, we approach him uh, with respect. We, 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 we approach him with, with inspiration. We, we, we approach him with this expectation that, that, that God is going to do a, a, a marvelous and wonderful thing. And, and, and he reassures us in his word, mm, my Lord, that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. And nor has it entered into the minds or the imagination of man what God has in store for us. <laughs> uh, you think what we have now in his word, you, you think what we have now in the people that he sends to remind us and reassure us just how much he loved us. You think that's something. Uh, uh, just imagine what it is that Jesus went away to prepare for us. <laughs> just, just imagine what it's going to be like uh, uh, when we can be with him where he is. <laughs> just just imagine... Oh, my Lord, just imagine uh, 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 the great things, the magnificent and marvelous things that he has in store for us. Uh, in our fellowship, if we would focus more on, on, on God and what God has in store for us or on God and what God has intended for us or, or on God and what God has promised us, then, then we would spend less time on, 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 the, on the mundane, less time on the temporary, less time on, 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 on things that, 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 that are not even as important as we make them seem. The important thing is, is, is what God has and what God promised and what, what God has in store for us, what he said he would do and can do and is doing in our lives. The fellowship, the fellowship uh, should be about God. It should be about the focus on the teachings of Jesus Christ. It should be the focus on the apostles and those that God has anointed and appointed to teach us, mm, my Lord. Because when we do that, uh, 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 we, we can start to agree. <laughs> when, when we do that, hallelujah, somebody, the, uh, uh, the atmosphere changes. When, when we do that, uh, the Holy Ghost wind starts to blow. And when we do that, we, we are given the ability to speak in tongues that, that, that we did not have the ability. We, be, we get the ability to do things that we didn't think we were going to be able to do. We, uh, when, when we agree, when we come together and we agree and we come on one accord and focusing on the teachings of Jesus Christ, something miraculous happens. Mm. We are continually transformed. Uh, there's a renewing of the mind. Uh, and then we begin to see that good uh, and, and acceptable and perfect will of God. Uh, and I don't know about you, but when I see that and, and when I see that he's included me, mm, good God from Zion, uh, it gives me joy. It gives me joy, unspeakable joy. 
And you know that confuses the enemy. Because he's continuously traveling to and fro. Mm. Mm. Trying to see whom he can devour. And so he throws obstacles in our way. Divides opportunities of temptation. But because of our fellowship with God, because of our agreeing to focus on the teachings of Christ, hmm, we have power. <laughs> My Lord, we have power uh, to resist the enemy, uh, to resist his temptation. Mm -hmm. We have to resist him. And, and God even promises that when we resist him, he will flee. He got to go. He can't stay. Uh, and so, so, so it should be important to us that, that our fellowship with God because, because uh, of the work of Christ. Uh, so, so, so now that his work is, is finished, Christ's work is finished, yes. You remember, uh, he was on the cross but, uh, uh, before he surrendered his spirit up to God, uh, uh, the Father. He announced, it is finished. <laughs> and see, how many times do we tell each other, you know it's finished, <laughs> You know, Jesus finished it. Yes, he did. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and what that does is that, that, that gives us a pair of concrete shoes to stand in our faith, to stand on the word of God. Jesus said, it is finished. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. So, so our work then is to agree that it is finished. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. And, and, and I promise you, it, it shakes the foundation of hell to hear people say, you know what? It's finished. Fellowship and agreement. Hallelujah, somebody. It is finished. And, and on the third day, the Bible says that after they put him in a tomb on the third day, he got up with all power in his hand. All power. You see, now we have fellowship with God, the Father. For the fellowship power of God, the Holy Ghost, we must agree. Agree to wait on the promises of Christ. Agree for more than one day and more than one hour. Agree every day until what we have been promised is fulfilled. Uh, I'm just saying that, 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 that even though it seems like we don't have... Mm, Power. Even though it seems like we're not going to make it, uh, I came to tell you that the devil is a liar. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. The devil is a liar. There's no truth in it. And so he wants you to think. He, he wants you to give up on, on, on that precious treasure that you have uh, 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 in that clay vessel that, 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 that's wrapped up on the inside of you. That, 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 that bubbling sensation that, that, that oozes out of you whenever you hear the word of God, whenever you are with the saints, whenever you begin to touch and agree. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. Because the agreement gives us power. It gives us power. Scripture that was read for you today. Where one or two of you touch and agree with anything Anything in Jesus' name, you shall have it. Uh, he, Jesus promised you that God will provide it for you. And so, see, a lot of us are walking around here, and we have power, uh, but we do not know how to access it. We, we do not know how, how to, 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 to use it or tap into it uh, or to use it uh, for the kingdom of God. Hmm. Because agreement gives us power. Agreement means harmony or a coordinate, an opinion of a feeling of a position or result of agreeing. That's, that's, that's what agreement means. It's harmony. Agreement is not a passive position uh, that we can take. We, we take by raising our hands or by saying I. Agreement requires us the work that follows. Uh, there's a work that we must do. So we have to remember what we've agreed upon. We have to remember the covenant. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and your soul. Covenant agreement. And your neighbor as yourself. You see, we, 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 when, when we came into relationship with Christ, uh, uh, that's what we agreed upon. Uh, and just in case nobody told you, I came today to tell you that there is an agreement that we must keep. So there is work 
for us to do. You hear Paul talk about working out our soul salvation. It seems like our mind just scatters and goes in a thousand different directions when, when Jesus says it's simple. The Ten Commandments, let me help you out. I'm going to compose them or compact them or compress them into two. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and your neighbor as yourself. Hmm. Power. And that's power. That, this is the power God has given us. The oneness of God cannot be dismantled because uh, they are always in agreement with one another. I am in my Father, and my Father is in me. Power in agreement. When I agree to focus their, on their power, focus on the teaching of Christ, as it is taught to me by, by the apostles, I have power. I have power. Power to fight against the wiles of the devil. Power to love the Lord my God with all my heart, mind, and so power to love my neighbor as myself. Power to stand on the word of God. Because I agree, there is work for me. Hmm. My conversation should be different. My conversation should be on the agreement. The teachings of the apostles, the teachings of Jesus Christ, that is my power. So if therein lies my power, then therein I should stand and therein I should abide. It should be a part of my life, every aspect of my life. Not saying that I'm perfect, but, but God is shaping me and molding me to perfection. Uh, hallelujah, somebody. And, and so therefore, my conversation should be holy. My conversation should be about the agreement. My, my, my actions should support the agreement, the covenant that I have with God. I'm just trying to give somebody some power this morning. Power over whatever's coming against you. Power over those family members that, that, that you just don't get along with. Power over the neighbors that, that just get on your nerves all the time. Power over the things that would tempt you to treat people other than the way you would like to be treated. It's, it's, it's simple. It's so simple the Bible declares that a child could understand. And we have complicated it with the lifestyles and, 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 the, and, the, and the society that we have developed. But I came today to remind you that God is real and he's alive. And he lives in you and me. We just have to agree. We just have to fellowship. We just have to remember to stand on his word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. We have to remember that in our fellowship, we focus on the power that God has given us and the covenant relationship that we have with him through Christ Jesus. Mm. Endowed with the Holy Ghost, where his grace is abounding, where his faithfulness is renowned, but we have peace that passes all understanding, that keeps our heart and our mind. Fellowship plus agreement equals power. The power that comes from God through his son Jesus Christ by way of the Holy Spirit in your life, in your heart, in your family, in your community. God has given us the tools. He's given us the keys to the kingdom. What are you going to do with your keys? I challenge you to challenge each other, to assemble yourselves one with another safely, exercising social distancing because of the time that we're living in. But I promise you, there were plagues back in Jesus' day. There were famines. There was sickness. But God was still relevant. He was still the great I am. <laughs> and he said to Moses, I will. And we are now the vessels. We are now the messengers. And the message to Satan is let my people go. We have the power. 
we have been given the power in fellowship and in covenant agreement and in relationship. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be all majesty, glory, power, and dominion, now and forevermore. And all God's people said, amen, amen, and amen. Go now and serve God with great joy. We are climbing. Jacob's ladder, we are climbing Jacob's ladder, we are climbing Jacob's ladder, soldiers of the cross.